All right, this is part two. O is an example of the 280 wheel arrangement, which in North America is called a consolidation. I did think about adopting that into the New Zealand nomenclature because both the Manawatu Railway and the Government Railway operated the type, and in 1908 they were consolidated into combined service. But I don't think that works. I think instead what needs to happen with this particular name is we need to acknowledge that it's the first example of an eight-coupled locomotive in New Zealand service. So the appropriate name for that wheel arrangement is Waru. If you don't know what Waru means, ask a primary school kid. P, P exists in the Waru form and the hard man with an asterisk tank form. Q is an interesting one, that funky looking, almost fawny type tank locomotive, 244T, originally imported for the Rakaia and Ashburton Forks Railway to run, to run from Rakaia to Metvin. They never served on that line, so I'm going to give the type an aspirational title. The 244T is henceforth known as the Metvin. That covers the Q and the rebuilt M. There's also the big Q, the 462 wheel arrangement, possibly the most famous wheel arrangement of them all. New Zealand was a pioneer in the adoption of the type. The appropriate name for the wheel arrangement in New Zealand is to reflect the only example that carried a name, AB608. The type is called Passchendaele. There is an exception, however, the Passchendaele name is not to be applied to the G in the 462 wheel arrangement. Its name will be closely related to Passchendaele, and Passchendaele is the French name of a Flemish village that was a centre of fighting in World War I. Its adjacent city is the city that the French would call Ypres, and that's how it appears on our war memorials. The reason why we in New Zealand use French names for Flemish villages is that the British War Office used maps that had French names on them for the cities in Belgium so as to allow liaison between the British and the French to occur more easily. The soldiery though used a corruption of the Flemish name for Ypres, the Flemish name being Ypres, the soldiery called it Wiper. So the 462 wheel arrangement in the three cylinder form in New Zealand is hereafter the Wiper. NMOPQ. R is an interesting one, it's a single fairly, they were efficacious. So the 064T wheel arrangement is efficacious. S is a uprated edition of the R, fairly efficacious. T is, of course, the pioneer example of the Wadu type in New Zealand. U is an interesting one. The 10-wheeler locomotives appeared significantly earlier in North America than they did here in New Zealand. The type actually sits between the 440 American Standard, and you'll notice here that I'm not referring to the 440 American Standard as a dog, because dog reflects our experience, and the American experience was that the locomotives were an exceedingly useful pioneer type. The 10-wheeler sits between the American Standard and their Vogel locomotives. And since New Zealand didn't pioneer 10-wheelers in any respect, the appropriate local name needs to reflect the American name, so the type is henceforth and officially the Tikau. Like Wadu, if you don't know what Tikau means, ask a primary school kid. V, once again, is an alluvial fan plane like the N and like the C that came in the uh, 1920s, I'm going to say. The W, however, also has the 262 wheel arrangement in the tank form, but it evolved differently from the alluvial fan planes, so it needs its own title. The first example in New Zealand was the, the five locomotives that the Manawatu Railway imported. They used them for construction. They hauled the first revenue service from Thorndon to Johnsonville and to Plymouthton once the Belmont Viaduct was open. The appropriate name for the type is therefore Belmont. The 264T Bobtail. 
I know technically that's a WW, but I don't care enough to think of anything else. And it fits with a 264 because they had that oversized bunker. 464, I'm looking at the WE class for inspiration here. They were intended to assist the Fell Alyssas on the slow run between Cross Creek and Summit. The appropriate name, therefore, is Remu Tucker. Uh, that's W. One more in the W's is the WJ, the Manawa 2 Railway, simply called that particular locomotive Jumbo. That's as good a name as any. The Manawa 2 Railway also had an eight coupled locomotive that I've not covered yet. It became the sole example of the BC class upon amalgamation. It was known as a Makaido, a name commonly used initially in North America, but was slang termed down to Mike. The New Zealand equivalent of Mike is, of course, Daryl. I've also missed out the Addington eight coupled locomotives, the B, the BA and the BB. They are Flight of Fancy inspired the Bumble. So we have the Bumble B, the Bumble BA and the Bumble BB. Uh, where did I get to? I got to U, V, W, X, the Buck X. Solves itself. The 482 wheel arrangement is the Buck. The Buck X, the Buck J, the Buck JA and the Buck JB. That leaves Y in our alphabet, simply an example of a hard man with an asterisk tank locomotive. I've skipped one, and the one I've skipped is the final statement in New Zealand superpower that starts with the J-Class Vogel, includes the, the Wadu type, the Manawa 2 Daryl, the Addington built Bumble B, Bumble BA and Bumble BB, the Buck X, and concludes with the K-Class, KA and KB 484s. The name Northern means nothing, particularly in New Zealand. I've thought about naming it after the track that it used to run over, either a plateau or a Waimarino, but that doesn't quite work. I've thought about naming it after Ruapehu, and all of those names ignore the significance of the letter K in New Zealand. Even though the K-Class and successors were numerically inferior to the AB class Passchendaels, served for less time than the F class Hardman with an asterisk tanks, and a less pure expression of a sublime example of a locomotive when compared with the Buck JA. The appropriate name for the 484 wheel arrangement is King. And here's some footage to take us out a couple of Kings doing what they were designed to do, hauling heavy freight up a heavy grade. And that's the end of part two. All right, cheers. Passengers on the Limited knew the King Country only for the long, hard drags to a night of grinding curves and choking tunnels. They knew it too for the Raurimu Spiral, up which the mighty K engines punch, punch, punch the laborious main trunk line, carrying goods and bridging the gap between North and South. <laughs>